da, da. Good one. What's good? What's good? Okay, okay, you're here. Your cast have been doing some very good impressions of you today, by the way. Oh, yeah. my voice in that. I made them. Oh, damn, he's probably going to kill me, but... Yeah, man, look, it's rap, man. It's, you know, we're outside, you know, super sell to the world and back. You don't know them two there. He has his love, like, ha, 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 ha. Like, he has that love, ha, 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 ha. James has also said, oh, it's all about him, finally. <laughs> bruv, bruv, bruv. It's hard, bruv. But only Ratman, Ratman's energy is unmatched, you know what I mean? You're here! Yeah, it's yeah. taken four years. four years. The very first superhero movie set in South East London Seriously. with all black leading actors. How does that feel? Um, it, I don't know yet. You have to ask me a week from now when it's been out to the world. Like, I'm happy that obviously I get a group of famous people, influencers and people who were selected to watch it. But I need the world, the rest of the world to see it as well. So I hope everybody here enjoys it, but they only get to see one. So I can't speak yet. I'm happy that I made it. It's a great step to have made it. But I want it to be seen. I want it to be enjoyed. I want it to be loved. So maybe do a follow up with me. <laughs> Into the future. You die. You can save her. <laughs> this looks amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give us a little. Yes, sir. You are flexing. Uh, my stylist ID. You've got your own camera? I've got my own camera, yeah, just in case we run out of, you know, power in your cameras, I've got my own. It's finally here. Yeah. It's out on Thursday, worldwide on Netflix. How are you feeling? Excited. Honestly, I'm feeling excited. Um, people are going to love it, and I actually can't wait for everyone to watch it. You. you play a baddie way too good. No, man, it's good acting, that's all. No, everyone's saying, Max, wait till episode six comes, yeah, yeah, he's terrible. Fine. It's mad, it's mad, it's mad. How sinister is Getz? And when he smiles at those teeth? You see Getz, yeah? Yo, he absolutely smashed this role. It's amazing. We've never had one of these before. Like, like people from the hood, from that perspective. But with superpowers. We see, we see all Iron Man, the Avengers, Justice League. We see all this stuff, but we never see really us. Like, homegrown. Not only from England, but just from a... a Hood perspective, like a black perspective, so it's a really amazing thing. Done test screenings, and it's hard to hear compliments from someone that you know because your friend's not going to turn around to you and tell you that it's whack, in it? Did you say to Jay Z, are you telling the truth or are you lying? Nah, nah, I didn't ask him, but <laughs> that wasn't for me. He's never going to tell my, in my face that it's whack. But I was more what the best thing about it was when we done test screenings to complete strangers who didn't know we was in the room. So when they started talking about how they feel about the show, you you get the truth when you're not in the room, and they really showed how much they loved it, and that's when I knew we had we was onto something. Need all four. One dies, she dies. It's a really important subject yeah, matters yeah, yeah. woven through. Yeah, yeah. How did you feel when you read the script and saw that? Um, I felt it was very real, very authentic to what's happening and the unique voices and the real voices. Um, and yeah, that's what life's about. That's what art's about. You know, we talk about social themes, about entertaining and making people laugh. We still got to try and sprinkle some things in there to have people thinking and and going through a laugh. You know, so. I mean, in everyday life, that's how people talk anyway. You would always you'd make a comment on things, and I feel like Raps has done that really well, where it's not in your face, but it's definitely there. If you could have a superpower skill in real life, what would it be and why? Invisibility. Invisibility. And taser. Yeah, taser. I'll take Josh's one. Yeah. No, I just want to move around. You know what I mean? Without like. Oh, there he is. I'll probably, I'll probably have um, time stopping, not time jumping, time stopping. Because like, if I'm in a situation now, and then like, I don't know, something bad's about to happen, just be like, mm. I'd have the ability to help people whilst preserving my anonymity. Oh, yeah. you don't want no credit? No, I don't want no credit. And the reason for that is, is actually more selfish than you think. I wouldn't want to have a big following of people that, that will think I'm the next second coming. I just want to be able to help them and let them get on with their life and me get on with mine. Finally! It's out on Thursday. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing to be here. 19 year old me who filmed this is jumping for joy right now. And yeah, man, I'm just, I'm happy we made it and I'm happy people get to see it now. You entertained me. I watched, Hello, I watched what? four episodes. You watched four? Yes, sir. I've even seen four. I've seen two. All right. You are good. I'm you excited. Okay, can I talk about your wardrobe? Okay, go on. When you saw your wardrobe, yeah. did you say to Ratman, why have I got all the bright shirts? Listen. As a man, yeah, I've never, I I'm normally wear black and greys, yeah? So what I, yeah, you get it, the concept's still going. But when I saw my wardrobe as a character, I thought, you know what, I was a bit sceptical, but it was so beautiful. 
I've never seen my skin pop so much in my life. So I was very... <laughs> Sabrina, your character? Oh, she's so like, yes! It even like, after episode four, it's like, yes! Like, you're oh. even with her so much more, like, you know. Do you know what? I had some great people around me, man, if I'm being so super honest. Um, some very experienced people and I was just asking for advice. I was literally a sponge on set. Watch the first four episodes. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, oh my God, Taser! <laughs> Those stairs! <laughs> How did you become Taser? Because you seem so cheerful. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, Taser is definitely very far from me. I didn't live any of that life at all. Um, just a lot of character development, sitting with myself, asking questions, you know, um, asking Rap some questions as well, because he kind of was in that world first few years of his life. So. Yeah, man, just getting the understanding and really going in head first. I think we've got to move away from them stereotypes, you know. We are teachers, we are lawyers, we are nurses, you know. Like, there's so much more to us and we can tell those stories too. A rap man didn't go all rock nation on you. He kept it real. He kept it real, you know. A rap man could have chose anyone, you know what I'm saying? He could have chose anyone. But like, you know what, I respect to rap man. I love that man so much. And in fact, even when it came to the audition, I wanted to give him everything. I wanted to give him 100%, even though I've known him for a while, I wanted to give him everything within that audition. I'm glad that he decided to choose me. What did you learn just being around him? Do you know what? I think the man has got a tremendous amount of self-belief. And I think as artists, sometimes we can be a bit self-deprecating. And he's the type of person that 100% believes in what he does. And I think that's quite, admirable in, in some regards yeah energy is infectious and also when he believes in someone he like it, it is palpable like you can feel his belief and that is as an actor to be around a director like that you just want to get on set every day and do the absolute best you I mean you always want to but especially with someone like rap it's kind of present man I'm just taking it every day about comes but I'm not underestimating what we've got here I'm not underestimating the opportunity um, but yeah, I'm just happy and just, you know, here we are, it's a premiere day, we've been looking forward to this day. You know what I mean, we filmed this over two years ago, so yeah, the fact that we're now here and get to celebrate and for people to enjoy it, that's what it's about. He's been through it all, right? And he grafted and also he's self-made, right? He came up doing like short films on YouTube, so he's been through every single... He's gone from doing short films on YouTube to having dinner at Jay-Z's house with Jay-Z and Blue, right? So he's done it, so he's done it all, so he's really... Uh, I think if he wasn't grounded, he wouldn't have got this far. I think it's because he's grounded, and I, I believe that's also why we all want to work with him. Like, all of us love him so much. Like, he's one of the coolest people I've ever met in my life. Lovely. I mean, this is like, what, my second time working with Raps and my third time working with I just, it's, he's, he's very passionate about what he does, and it's, it's, it's like, it, it, it's infectious. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And you don't want to let him down. You kind of want to do your best for him kind of thing. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's dope. What do you love about him? What is it about him that makes him who he is? He's just himself, man. He's so positive. He's very creative. He's very inspiring. So when you've got someone of that stature, man, it's hard it's hard not to like and admire it and, 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 and try to aspire to be like that. So, man, shout out to Raps. Find him before it's too late. To Raps. South London, superpowers with black people. Yo, <laughs> yo have you seen it? Have you seen that before? <laughs> Black people with superpowers. This is like something you've never seen before, a combination of three to four worlds that we can all relate to in different spaces um, on the surface level and deeper than the surface level, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like people of all walks of life can enjoy this, man. Will Smith said something really interesting recently. He said, Jerry Bruckheimer said, Bad Boys, when the first one came out, it's a film starring black actors, yeah. but it's for everyone. everyone. So what would we say about Supercell? I'll say it's the same thing, right? Although it's about these kids in an in a urban community, it's about everyone. You can relate to these people more than you can relate to Tony Stark. You can't relate to Tony Stark. He's a multi-billionaire. You can't relate to um, Captain America. He's born in the in Second World War. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on, we're here. We're here. In episode one, you have a very poor chat-up line. Can you think back to a chat-up line you used back in the day that you think, why? Well, you can't see me. <laughs> Did you say that? Did it work? I think it might have, you know. Cool, there's a party at my room in my hotel. Um, dress code 100% off. Oh. oh, Josh. Don't judge me, don't judge me. Oh my God, that's awful. Uh, you look like you're in shape. You're into your vitamins. How about a bit of vitamin me? Oh, oh God, no. That's what no. Oh, it's, it's cold outside, isn't it? We're talking about the weather, like, I, yeah, that, I thought that was really strange. Yeah, that's awful. I already say my words, chat about that line, say, excuse me, miss, yeah. you smell good. You smell like 
a goosey and pounded yam, which is a Nigerian dish. I know it didn't, it didn't work in the moment. <laughs> I've never met the girl again in my life, but I hope she's looking now because look at me, baby. Look at me now. You know, did you fall from the sky because you're like an angel? And it's like, uh -huh. oh, look. <laughs> I don't use shout out lines to be, I don't, I don't. I'm, I, I honestly, I, I, I get too like, to, you know what I mean? Just everything kind of cringes me out. So what, it's just a flex? Just a conversation, man. Just to get to know you. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Your story was obviously huge. Do you feel pressure? Because you know everyone loves you, and the culture wants you to win. So you're sitting there right now. Oh my God! Let me flick I, I am. I am. I am feeling the pressure. I am. There's a lot riding on this. Not just for me and my cast, but for the future of an all-black cast show at this level. So I do feel the pressure, of course. But um, I feel like we delivered, man.